Hi everybody, I'm Jan Marie with Loud Bicycle and I am here to show you how to install a Loud Mini on your bike. The most common location is going to be right here, so we're going to do that first. When you get your horn, you're going to have a couple of pieces in the box. One is this beautiful, beautiful horn, mounting tab here, the button, this mount, the top of it is this uh, call a rainbow top and then it has the Y on the bottom and it will come with all of the screws screwed in in the correct location and orientation so pay attention to that but you want to remove the middle screw and loosen the top screws um, it's gonna come with a L Allen wrench Whoop already unscrewed these screws. I'm going to take one of them completely out and leave the other one kind of loose so that there's some movement in the mount. And then I'm going to take the most important thing in the box, which is this rubber shim. This is going to ensure that your mount has a really tight fit, which is essential to being able to keep it on the bike and keep it exactly where you want it. So I'm going to take the shim and wrap it around the handlebar as tight as I can. If you want a smoother fit, you can cut the shim to the exact size that you want it. And your mount will adjust to the size of the shim over the course of the first few weeks or months. So we do suggest that you tighten it down before every ride to ensure a tight fit. I mentioned that these screws are gonna be screwed in the correct orientation. If you look really closely here, one side of it, this far side here, is flat, and the other side has a little bubble. The screw is going to go in this direction, so if you are like me and you don't have enough clearance here with this piece, um, you want to make sure that you have it in the orientation so that the screw is going to be coming in from the side where you have the most space, so generally the outside instead of the center side. Going back to my shim. Fit it in there. Okay, so I'm going to take this mount. I'm going to open it up so that it's 90 degrees. I'm going to put that rainbow part on top, the Y part on the bottom, and I'm grabbing my second screw, the long screw. The longer screws are the ones that go on the sides. And I'm going to take that Allen wrench, and you see how it's got a long side and a short side. It's easiest if you start with the long side to screw it in instead of messing with the short side. The short side is for torque. We're going to use that at the end when we get a little closer here. And then when it gets almost all the way as tight as I need to be, both sides, I can switch to the short way and tighten it down. So now we've gotten the mount on. How do we get the mini on? It's easy. This beautiful mounting tab is two-pronged and our uh, mount here is three-pronged. We're going to fit them together. Fit them in until the holes line up. And then you can take the screw and again we're going to go in from that flat side where it's flush and we're, we could screw that in. Um, this is also the place where the thumb screw da, 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 would go in. Some customers ask us, what do we do with the thumb screw? Where does it go? I've screwed everything in. It's this thumb screw or the regular screw. So if you think that you're gonna be leaving your horn on for a while, then we would recommend the regular screw. If you think you're gonna be Taking your loud bike off, like if you have to park your bike outside of your home and aren't able to take the whole bike in, you can take just the loud bike in. And the thumb screw is a great way to do it because you can just take it off, mind you. <laughs> it's gonna take me about 10 seconds to get this off. And that's also the same amount of time that it would take a, a thief to take this off your bike. So we also have a set of security bolts which has two bolts for the top and 
one bolt for the middle, except these bolts, they all have, instead of a hexagonal uh, head, which is compatible with any Allen wrench, they have a star-shaped head, which means that you need a special Torx wrench with a star-shaped head in order to uh, be able to open it. You can get that for us for additional cost, and we always recommend it for any city dwellers. Um, but the thumb screw in the removal is the only surefire way to make sure you always have your lab mini. Do the next part and the final step, which is the button. It has a Velcro closure here, so you have easy ways to mount it in a variety of locations. And then the far end looks like this. And it has two holes on the end, um, and that's to match the two prongs that are, that are here. You are just gonna fit, kind of looks like a heart actually. You're gonna fit it together. And it's a nice tight fit. And now I've got all this extra button here. And you just wanna go and wrap it around um, and decide where your button's gonna go first. You can put it either on your, your front here, you can put it near your brakes. Actually today, why don't I just put it around my center. And all you're just gonna do is wrap it, wrap and wrap and wrap until it's nice and tight. And your heart horn will come with some sort of pre-charge, but it's always good practice when you get it, when you first get it, to charge it up all the way. Okay, then you're just gonna open up this um, Velcro and you can Velcro it down nice and tight. Another question that we get is, I don't have enough room on my handlebars. Where else can I mount my horn or how else can I mount my horn? It really depends a lot on your bike. For both of these, you're gonna need an additional part. It's called the flip-flop mount. It allows you to change the orientation of this mount to be 90 degrees from where it is right now. The flip-flop mount, it looks like this. It looks like another mounting tab um, and it will just fit into bottom part of your mount and then your lab bike will fit into the other part so it makes it a little bit longer. One other location that is pretty common here um, either on the seat post here or underneath shim. I'm going to put the rainbow side of my mount on the back side. And so then I will take my horn. But look, if I tried to do it like this, one, it wouldn't fit, and it's in the wrong orientation. I would only be giving a honk to people that are on the one side of me. So I'm gonna take that flip-flop mount. I'm gonna stick the two-pronged side of it into the three-pronged side of the mount. This would be a scenario in which you would use both the thumb screw and the center bolt. So I've got my center bolt in, and then I'm going to put my lab bicycle, lab mini, here, my two-pronged tab into the three-pronged part of the flip-flop mount. And just like on the regular mount, there's going to be a flush side, a flat side, and a bubble raised side. You want to insert the thumb screw into the flush side, always. And then, my sweet little lab mini will hang in the correct orientation. That's one place that you can put it. Another place is on the front of this flip-flop mount. I put it on this extension here of the stem, and then I can have it going forward. Now, if you end up putting your mini a little bit farther back on your bicycle. As you see right now, your button might not reach from where you want it to be. Like if I have my button over here on the front of my bike, it, it does reach, but it's a little, little taut. We do also have button extenders. So for friends who want to put their horns farther back, and also for our riders that are using recumbents, the button extender is great and you can string as many button extensions as you want to together and they will still honk just the same. So 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration, um, that it was helpful to you. And if you have any more questions, just write to us and we will be happy to answer them.